Hey guys, it's Zach. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this foundation routine and this is pretty like glowy and dewy for me. As you know, I usually use a lot of fucking powder and I mattify everything because I don't like touching up throughout the day. But if you want to see how I did this dewy kind of like summery looking foundation routine look then just keep on watching all right so to get started i'm going to obviously start with my eyes and my brows done just because you've seen that a million times so like i said at the beginning of the video this is going to be like my version of like dewy hydrated looking skin so obviously it's not going to be like dripping wet looking and i don't really like that look of it but it's just like compared to what i normally do this is like really glowy and dewy because normally as you know i use two different powders all over my whole face because i like it really matte and then i just go in with highlighter everywhere but recently i've been doing less foundation a little bit more like skincare prep before and it really does make a big difference so right before i started this i washed my face i exfoliated i did my normal cleansing routine and I'm just going to use the Lancome Energy De V, whatever, however you say that, and this is the Glow Boosting Serum. So I'm just going to use two pumps of that all over the whole face. And for moisturizer, recently I've been really liking the Dior Hydra Life Pore Perfecting Moisturizer. I've used this in a couple videos. Um, the only thing I don't really like is the smell. It smells okay, I just don't really like floral smells, but Dior, everything smells kind of flowery. Alright, and I think I've talked about this in one of my other videos. This is the Estee Edit Radiance Activator. And I don't know if it's like a primer or if it's just kind of like a little radiance serum that you put on before. Um, I've seen someone like mix it with their foundation before, so you can do whatever you want. But I really do like this. And I'm just going to put this like on the outsides of my face, not so much on the center. And then as usual, I have to use my Milk Blur Stick, even though this isn't like radiant glowy or dewy or anything it's just i have to use this on my nose because i really don't like my pores and this is like the only thing i can use that keeps my pores kind of gone okay and then like i was doing in one of my last videos i don't know if anyone watched it when i was doing like the shape tape like on my nose and like the center of my forehead where my foundation always disappears well recently i've been doing like kind of the same thing just with different products so it doesn't look as heavy and like as thick so I've been using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Honey, and normally I use Creme Brulee because it's a little bit more yellow, so it matches my foundation, And but Honey is um, a little bit more closer to my skin tone. So I'm just going to take that on my finger, and I'm just going to put it over the areas that I know I like a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going to use this to kind of cancel out some of the redness and just cover up some of my acne scars. That way I don't have to use as much foundation. Alright, now that my skin is a little bit more evened out and it's not so red, the foundation I'm going to be using is the Lancome Tint Idol Lay or Idol, whatever the hell you say. Um, and I've never had this before, I just recently got it like in the past week. So um, it's very full coverage, so I only do one or two pumps on my whole face and it is kind of like a satin finish. It's not really dewy, but the way that I like do the rest of my makeup, you'll see how it's kind of dewy. And I'm just going to apply that with a very dirty beauty blender, and I'm going to use the Fix Plus from MAC, and just coat my whole beauty blender in that. So I'm going to use my concealer now. This is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay, and this was like the first concealer I ever bought from Sephora, I think. Um, not this actual one, this is a new one obviously, but and this is in the shade um, Light Neutral because recently I've been really liking my concealer to not be like fucking like white under my eyes. Um, so it's like a little bit more natural and I don't do as much. I only do it like right under my eyes and I do put a little bit on my nose just because I know it's going to disappear. Alright, now to set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Light. And this, I'm not going to like bake with this or anything crazy, I'm just using a very light amount just to set my under eyes because I do crease a lot under my eyes. And then I'm going to put, oops, and then I'm going to put a little bit on my nose just because I get oily on my nose. Alright, now I'm going to move on to contour and I've really been liking the Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. So I'm going to use the powder side of it, and I'm going to use this color right here. And just contour as normal. Now 
now that my face is all contoured, I'm going to use the Becca highlight. Oh my god. Now that I'm all contoured, I'm going to use the Becca bronzer. And I'm not even going to try to say it again because I said it in one of my other videos. It's like Impanama Sun, whatever the hell that is. So I'm going to use that on a Sephora fan brush. And just pack a lot of that on. Because as you know, I like to be orange. All right, now that all of the bronzer's done and I look like a fucking Oompa Loompa, which is perfect, I'm going to use more of the Fix Plus on the Beauty Blender and just press all of that product into my face and just pick up any extra powder. And by doing this, because Fix Plus isn't a setting spray, it's just a refreshing spray, so you can just push this in if you feel like you're not like looking hydrated enough or if your makeup looks too dry or dull. You can just either spray this over your face and it'll give your face some life or do what I'm doing and just kind of press it in and it gives it like a little bit more of a glow just from doing that. So I'm going to use my, you guessed it, my Becca Champagne Pop. This is my life. This is my third one and I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the Morphe E61 uh, highlighter brush. I'm going to wet this with my Fix Plus and then just pick up a bunch of that. And then just go over it with the Beauty Blender again. And now that everything on my face is done, I'm just going to use this Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray. And I'm not going to spray this on my nose or my forehead just because this makes me like really, really, really dewy. And give it like an hour in my nose and part will already have a little bit of shine. So this is just going to go all over the perimeter of my face. Alright, I'm going to finish my under eyes and I'll be right back for the lips. Alright, now that everything is done, I'm going to move on to the lips. And I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Lipstick. And this is in the shade Beach Babe. And this is like uh, one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Alright guys, that's a completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Also, I wanted to say on YouTube, thank you so much for entering my giveaway, the Jaclyn Hill Palette giveaway. It, w it went amazing, and congratulations to the winner. Um, don't be discouraged for the people that didn't win. There is a giveaway next month already planned out. So every single month, I think I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, pretty much the same thing. Pick one winner, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, thank you so much for entering. I really did appreciate all of the love and support that everyone was giving, and even like all of the positivity after the contest was over, everyone was still pretty positive, even the people that didn't win. So I really did appreciate that. I try to post two videos every single week. I post every single day on my Instagram, which is zboner underscore, which is always written right here at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to link all of these items in the description below, which I've never fucking done before, but I'm gonna actually try. Um, I really just don't like typing things in the description. It takes a lot of time and I feel like no one really reads them. So please just fucking read it since I'm actually doing this video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.